Tremendous chance, the value runner for mine. Nango Larry, a classy animal, and he's in the right kennel. Sure is. They know what it takes to win a golden Easter egg. 29 68 winner here in the semi final. He's a bit touchy, but then he hits the accelerator. If he does get across, he's got a great chance. And Marvel Zombie, box eight for L and Alan Manwaring, put some serious pace into the race. Yeah, it would be a great story to see him win. I just don't think he can get across from the wide alley. Market mover, Jared Timms. The market mover is all natural now, Simon. A $7.50 chance. Third line, uh, fourth line of betting, I beg your pardon, at Labrokes. Alright, here we go. Time to put uh, I'm going to say something else there. Time to put it on the line, Battler. The banker. Uh, look, I I've got to be with McKenna. Uh, I don't like the price. The only knock is the current price, but she is starting to edge out around the $1.85 mark. The value runner for mine, all natural, I think he's got a tremendous chance, and then wider out to uh, Zipping Megatron and Nat El Shiva, but I've got to be with the favourite. I'm with McKenna as well. I like Nat El Shiva at the each way odds. Matt Jackson has been our caller tonight. We'll throw it over to him for the calling of the Group 1. Ladbrokes, Golden Easter Egg. She's at $1.90, 6 .50, good support, all natural. $7 Zipping Megatron and Nat Al Sheba, $10 Nangar Larry, $11 about Furnace. The moment we've longed for. They're just about all ready to run. McKenna to bounce the favourite. She'll leave from box two. The green light is on. This is the golden Easter egg. They're set to jump. 190 McKenna ready racing now and she left brilliantly McKenna the favorite straight to the lead from Furnace at the first corner Ned El Shiva to third and zipping Megatron getting up on the rails they're followed by Nangar Jim next Nangar Larry all natural and Marvel Zombie McKenna midway down the back she's out by four on zipping Megatron to second then Furnace and Ned El Shiva at the home corner McKenna she's four in front zipping Megatron's trying hard McKenna's in front this is the win of a lifetime. McKenna won the golden Easter egg and beat Zipping Megatron. Photo third, Furnace on Ned El Sheba. And get Nengar Larry or Natural Marvel Zombie. Nengar Jim at the rear. The time around 29-3. That is a special win from a special dog. Magical McKenna, 29-3-3. She's been the favourite throughout the series. 29-2 in the heats, 29-2-8 in the semi-finals, and tonight on a track which has been reasonably slow, 29-3-3. Hell of a performance. The final margin looks like a length and a quarter to zipping Megatron. A great run from Finesse and Ronnie Evans, who's run into third, and Mick Cowley is with the winning connections. With a tear in her eye, Michelle Sultana, congratulations. Is that relief as much as joy? Yeah, I just... I can't believe she's done it now, and it's just so good. She's an absolute freak. Once she stepped, you must have been feeling a little bit more confident. I was. I just needed to get clear, and I know the track's really heavy tonight, and I know the dogs would have been coming up behind her, and she just had to keep a lead, and she did, so... Excuse me. What is this... It's Paula Bella. Mate, I've, been number one, mate. Right, I've now got Paula Bella's with me as well. Paul's a trainer. Paul, congratulations. How does that feel, mate? Oh, mate, I didn't think I'd get excited. Amazing to win it with Daryl, Michelle, and George, and my mum and dad at home as well, mate. Like they're they're still at home doing the dogs and. My wife, it's just everything. It's ridiculous. We had a plan and it went off, made come off. off. You said you had a plan. This this goes right back to when you actually George bought the dog, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, mate. It's just to win it. You know what? This is better than winning it by myself because win it as mates and friends. And but it's about Bonnie McKenna. She's a superstar. She's a dead set superstar, mate. Mate, what is, you, you've won a, a stack of feature races, both of you. What does this mean to both of you to win this race on this night? Oh, this is my biggest win by far. Me too. And to win it with Daryl and Michelle, it's just huge. Like, it's just it's unbelievable. Mate, 
everyone was saying it was her race to lose, but uh, she's just, she's almost bulletproof, isn't she? Nothing's bulletproof, but yeah, she is. She is, <laughs> mate. She is just unbelievable. Michelle, what does this mean for you in terms of, yeah, this is, this is your home city, your home major track, to come here and win the biggest race that is here, what does this mean for you? Oh, it's amazing, like it just, you know, I'm so proud of me and Daryl because like we've just put so much into it, and every dog, just to get them to a position like they have been now, and it's, it's just, it's, I don't know. <laughs> Did you think you'd get this emotional about it? I didn't because I'm the level-headed one and I've kept cool all week and no, wait till I see Daryl, I'll keep crying. <laughs> I love him mate, he's the best Daryl. Best bloke you ever met mate. Paul, obviously this partnership works now, I can see dogs going back and forth to Melbourne and Sydney. Yeah mate, I, yeah, they sent me a dog the other day, the other week and okay, I didn't win it, I owe them now, big time. <laughs> so, but it didn't work, but yeah mate, I just, how can I complain for the job they 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 do and there's no stress it's not about them it's always always about the dog and they, ne they never ring me up with a problem it's always po positive it's never oh, I've done this I've done that it's always Bonnie's done this Bonnie's done that and they just they're the best in the biz business and I wouldn't swap with them with any trainer that they're going around guys congratulations go soak up that atmosphere